Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2017 Mitsubishi Triton GLX Plus Space Cap. So a little bit about us here at Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Cairns. I am standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards. Have about 200 vehicles in stock at the moment and go through about 160 on any given month. As you can see, we've got our multi-level showroom over the back there at our yard here in the city. Uh, we've got quite a variety of vehicles. Uh, Cairns itself, about a kilometre that way, you'll hit the heart of Cairns. And as you go along Mulgrave Road here, heading out of town, you will come across a brand new part of Toyota and Lexus. Parts and services out the back and our second pre-owned vehicle yard just up the road there near DFO itself. Uh, at the end of the day, we are one of the largest pre-owned departments here in Queensland. Uh, but throughout the video though, I'll go over this vehicle in complete detail to simply pointing out any blemishes that may appear. So without too much talking, let's get into it. Been a full drive, always like to check underneath the wheel arches, make sure she's clean and tidy, no rust or red dust, excellent amount of tyre tread on the wheels as well, always great to see good depth there, and around the alloys, nice and tidy. As we make our way around the front end, uh, on the body we we'll want to be looking for imperfections, uh, like stone chips, scratches, those sort of markings. As you can see around the front, nice straight front end. Obviously it's been fitted with the nudge bar there as well. As you can see, very clean and tidy. Make way across the bonnet, try and give you a good angle with the reflection of the light here. Make sure there's no major dings or dents. Just making our way across for those uh, imperfections like scratches and stone chips as well. Beautiful, it's a nice clean straight front end. As we make our way down the passenger side here, just try to give you a good angle of the body again, but just simply covering each panel as we go. So on the front left, again, just checking underneath those wheel arches and checking for that tight tread and that excellent amount of depth again. Always great to see. Beautiful, as we make our way down the passenger side here, obviously fitted with the side steps as well and uh, space cab or club cab as they call them in the Tritons. And as we make our way along the tub, very clean, tidy, straight back end as well. So around the back again, just checking underneath these arches, tire tread, so excellent amount of tire tread all around. Uh, part of our vehicles being a driveway price here in Queensland uh, is a roadworthy certificate. That's why they've got obviously uh, great condition in the wheels. As you can see, very clean, very straight vehicle. Uh, very minimal in the way of any sort of scratching, uh, dents, stone chips, any of those sort of markings of imperfections. Around the back end here. Also very tidy, very straight. So also you've got your reverse camera coming out of the tailgate there. And underneath, you've also got the tow bar set up as well. So as we can see, so far around the vehicle, Nice and clean, nice and straight. Obviously we've got the pullover cover here in the tub. We'll lift that back for you a bit, give you a bit of a look inside. So it's a bare tub, so there's a few markings in there. It's to be expected, it is a ute after all. Uh, but at the end of the day, still fairly good condition. Even if you did want to put a tub liner in there, make it look even better. As you can see with the drop of the tailgate, it's nice and straight. Uh, no sagging or bowing on either of the sides. Beautiful. Now yeah, we'll make our way down the driver's side for you. Again, just trying to give you a really good angle and covering each panel as we go. Appears to be a little bit of dirt that there. But they're the type of imperfections we want to be keeping an eye out for. There we go. There's a couple of markings. A fine, real light little scratch along there. Doesn't seem too deep through the paint though. And again, just covering that final wheel arch and tire tr tread for you. So nice and clean and excellent tread all the way around. All minor imperfection there. Probably clean off by the feels. But as we make our way down, so driver's door, very common. You start to get a couple little stone chip markings down there been the most frequently used door. Those sort of things, we can obviously get brush touched before delivery of the vehicle. 
but overall as we can see it's in excellent condition as we make our way around the body across the windscreen making sure there's no major chips or cracks or anything like that and up along the roof make sure there's no major dings or dents or hail damage beautiful so exterior wise excellent condition I uh, obviously want to make sure the interior is the same beautiful so handle just down there as we have a look through the back here nice and tidy back seats there's no cuts tears burns anything like that it does have your toe ball and tongue underneath there with your jack and your tools another little storage compartment on the other side and across the roof no markings damages tears sagging in that hood lining beautiful on the driver's door and very picky there very minimal in the way of markings and imperfections even scuff marks along the bottom as we make our way through the front so you've obviously got your uh, carpet floor mats being fitted uh, but you also got your vinyl underneath there in excellent condition not trying to hide anything they've just really looked after the vehicle uh, and as we can see with the seats in the front as well very clean and tidy so we'll jump in start it up so it does come with a full set of keys which is always good beautiful that nice diesel sound so on the right hand side here you've obviously got for your side mirrors and your traction control and your electric windows there on the door uh, on the right hand side of the steering wheel all your controls for the cruise control and for your head uh, head unit and your bluetooth once the phone's connected as we can see it's done 44,696 kilometers uh, we'll run through that service history shortly just to make sure we're keeping up to date as you can see, we've got a nice large display screen there. Obviously, it's all touch screen at the end of the day. Uh, but also, that's where that nice large uh, reverse camera shows up out the back. Giving you great vision, especially if you're trying to hook up a trailer by yourself. It points directly down where that tow ball and tongue would be. Uh, as you can see, we've got our climate control air conditioning head unit there. And down here, our USB and a, a USB ports, cigarette lighters, all those sort of accessories as well. You can see it's in an automatic with your four-wheel drive controls just there. But as we make our way through all these things, you also notice the condition of the vehicle interior-wise is very clean and tidy, been very well looked after. Uh, up along the dash, obviously got the dash mat, but we do want to double check underneath, make sure it's not faded or cracked or starting to go sticky. They've just really looked after the vehicle, which is great to see. Have a look in here, so you've got all your books in here. Service and warranty is obviously the main one people want to know about, so we'll have a quick flick through. So, as you can see, it did its complimentary check, did 13, 25, 35, and we did the last one around 44 there. Uh, so, next one's not due until 60,000 case, uh, but as you can see, full service history and up to date, which is always great to see. Last but not least, so we'll jump out and have a look underneath the bonnet while she's still running. running nicely as you can see very clean and tidy underneath no rust or red dust if we listen to that diesel motor there's no major knocks squeals rattles anything like that beautiful so that was our virtual tour of our 2017 mitsubishi triton glx plus club cab edition as you can see, it's in immaculate condition, great low kilometres, and being a club cab, it's uh, not expected to last long, let's be honest. Um, hope you enjoyed the video tour, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.